Hello my loves, welcome to your love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Libras, please. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Libras, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Signs. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Libras, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Signs. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Libras, please. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Libras during this upcoming Mercury Retrograde? What messages do we have for my Libras for this upcoming Mercury Retrograde? Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages messages for my Libras. What do they need to know, please, Spirit? What do they need to know? All right, so let's get started here. So we have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo Energy, the Emperor, Aries Energy, the Wheel, the Devil, Capricorn Energy, the Four of Swords, the King of Cups in the Reverse, which I don't have reversals in this deck, so we're just going to leave it that way. The Ten of Cups. We've got the Two of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Sun, Leo Energy. Libra, you are dealing with a possible narcissist or someone who is insanely emotionally manipulative, okay? Um... I feel like this person told you everything that you want to hear. This person is promising you marriage and babies and commitment and to be your rock and to be your everything. Um, but it was all lies. It was all lies. There's no love here. This person was is just emotionally manipulated. This person fed you a dream and you're just, you were sitting there living in dreamland. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like you're realizing that you have a choice here, Libra, that you don't have to believe this person. You don't have to be tortured by this person. You don't have to be abused by this person. You don't have to be, okay? Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're mourning this situation, Libra, because you waited so long. It's like this person you know, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, they created this dream and it was just out of reach. It was like, it was always right there, but you couldn't quite touch it. You know what I'm saying? And you're mourning it. You're mourning it because you may have been invested in this for a long time. We've got the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, and we have the Seven of Wands. It's time to let this go. You have had enough. You're at your breaking point, Libra. It's time to move on. It's time to block this person. I don't want to hear what you have to say. I don't care about what you have to say. We have the world card with the six of cups. We have the lover's card, Gemini energy. Yeah, I feel like you're done with this ex. This could be a past life soulmate. It could have been. It could have been a karmic where karmic cycles are shutting out in this connection, Libra. You may be learning your lesson here. There may be a karmic cycle that is shutting out for you here. We've got the Hermit, Virgo energy. The Queen of Swords, Libra energy. The Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Oh, Libra, you are walking away, guys. You are you are gaining that enlightenment, that self-respect, realizing that you can't trust this person, realizing that you are losing money, time, the wasting days of your life that you are never going to get back. You are walking away from this person, emotionally unhinging. And mind you, when I say you're walking away from this person, you are falling out of love with this person. You have emotionally disconnected from this person. You're not just walking away because you're mad or upset and eventually it'll come together we've got the two of swords and the hanged man you've been waiting for a long time for this to come together libra but i feel here with this two of swords you see and you see how she could, she could see through that veil the two of swords is generally making a decision um you have to make a decision but you don't know what decision to make you could see here 
you knew this whole time that you should have made this decision a long time ago, but you wanted to wait just to be sure. Do you understand? You may have been living in the land of what ifs. If I leave now, what if they get it together? What if this could actually work, right? So you waited. You knew a long time ago that you should have walked away from this, but you waited. You waited. And you know what? This person keeps on proving to be a conniving person, a liar, a cheater, a manipulator. Um, we've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. They constantly lie about being committed. They lie about the future. They lie about all of these things. They, anything they say never comes to fruition. We've got temperance, Sagittarian energy, the Ace of Wands, and the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. You are so confident here, Libra, that moving on, moving away is going to bring you peace and healing. With the Moon card, Cancer, Piscean energy, and the Death card, your intuition has been telling you for a long time to leave this behind, that there's something better out there. We've got the the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the Justice card, and the Tower. Yeah, I feel like you're, you are learning your lesson here. You have upgraded Libra. You are staying, because that Queen of Pentacles is very independent, very independent. Um, and I feel that, you know, you've learned this karmic lesson. It's hitting you like a lightning bolt. Like you're, you're realizing here that it's time to go. We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Star. Libra, if you have been manifesting love in your life, if you've been manifesting uh, a deep soul tie in your life, it's coming. It's coming. So whatever, because you have learned this lesson and because you're moving on from it, what you wished for is coming. Three of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. I feel like your message here, Libra, is that whatever you have been working on wasn't in vain. So whatever you lost in this connection, you're about to get it back tenfold, Libra. Okay, it's going to come back to you. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, pre Empress Energy, and the Knight of Cups. I feel like once you separate yourself from this person, you're going to be in pre-empress energy whether you're male or female you're going to do well financially you're going to look good you're going to take care of yourself and you're going to have someone come in possibly a water sign cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be but you're going to come in, they're going to come in with a lot of love here libra okay you have someone coming in with love you just have to take that leap of faith you have to take that leap of faith in knowing that there's something better out there. Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. I feel like you thought you were investing in something positive. You thought you were investing in stability. You were not listening to your intuition here. You know this person was playing mind games, okay? You knew this person was a player, but you kept investing anyway in hopes. Again, with that moon card, the land of what ifs, in hopes that things would change. I don't see any anything changing here and I see that you're just getting tired you're getting tired and with the knight of swords libra energy you're about to make a very uh quick decision to cut this out of your life we've got the seven of cups and the judgment card you are making a final decision that this is an illusion you're making the final decision and an awakening to the fact that this is not real libra that you're working on something that doesn't hold any value to it that doesn't have any hope to the future but i do see new love coming in and i do see it being beautiful look ace of pentacles and the page of swords you may meet someone online you may meet someone online with the strength card. You're the only person holding yourself back from this Libra. You have something really, really beautiful on the horizon. And I would, you know, I, I feel like this Mercury retrograde, it's, it's, because Mercury retrograde talks about feelings that are inside bubbling up. Everything has to come up to the, the surface. That's what Mercury retrograde does. It cleans things out. And you have had this inner knowing all of this time that, you know, something's not right, that you should move on, that you should, that, you know, this person's a player, that this person's not for you. You're in pre-empress mode. They're in player mode. You know what I'm saying? This is not someone who's serious. This is not someone who wants to manifest. And I feel like, you know, there's no more what ifs here. You know that it's time to move on. You know that you're better than this. And once you learn this karmic lesson, unbelievable abundance is going to come in for you, Libra. It's really going to be beautiful. All right. I'm excited for you. I love you guys. Bye.